Okay, and welcome back everyone to more Elder Scrolls Online Morrowind. We had quite the long episode last time, so we could do that entire quest in one shot. And when I came back to Vivek City, too. Holy crap, dude. To clear up some of my inventory space, I also went ahead and bought a pack upgrade because I did have the 2,000 gold to do that. <laughs> Next one, unfortunately, is like 5,400 gold, and I noticed that there were a couple of quest markers over here. So let's, let's see what these are. Appointments. Wow. I would expect the name Devaith Fear to carry more weight with these priests. It's beyond belief that the temple keeps me waiting. Don't they realize that it's a courtesy that I'm here? You're someone of importance. My twin and I are apprentices to the great Devaith Fear. I'm here on his behalf to report to the priests about an incident which occurred near the growth site of his new tower, Tel Fear. What happened at Tel Fear? A rift opened when we were shaping the workshop below the tower. Master Fear believes there is a connection to the living gods. He's sure to explore the rift once his expedition is assembled. My sister could tell you more if that interests you. It does. You may take this boat to tell Fear. Dania will be there assisting our master. She always was the lucky one. I must stay and wait for my audience with the priests. Can you tell me more about this rift? I didn't see much myself. I was evacuated well before the threat could reach me. Many weren't so lucky. I regret I'll be reporting that most of the Telvanni working on the tower died. Aren't you worried about your sister? Not while she's with Master Fear. He would never let anything happen to her. He's very protective of us. I can't speak for the rest of you. What killed the Telvanni? There was some confusion on that point. The things coming out of the rift appeared to be constructs, but like nothing anyone had seen. Master Fear's theory, which is assuredly correct, was that the rift converged with Clockwork City. That doesn't sound promising for the expedition. Master Fear said about a dozen seasoned adventurers would do. Maybe less if they had extensive experience with planar travel, but he thought that unlikely. That does not look like something we will be able to do, however. That had a weird marker. Tells of fabrication. This quest is meant to be completed by a 12 player trial group. Yeah. Okay. Yes, that is one of the new trials. I think that was like off these ways somewhere or something. Or some random island, but that's probably not something I would actually record if I managed to get into a 12 man group. So, you'd have to actually try to get a 12 man group together for glory. They always put that damn text all up in your way so you can't read anything. Calling all adventurers cell swords and spell. Slingers, <laughs> heroes, and the Nair Duels. Do you long for a greater challenge? Try your might at the battlegrounds where gains of glory and gore await you. We seek the greatest champions of the land for our contests of strategy and skill. Speak to Battlemaster. Rivian for more information. I guess that's how you get started with Battlegrounds through a quest, because you can do Battlegrounds once you're appropriate level in the uh, group finder. You can just go to Battlegrounds and then you can queue up for it from there. I believe Battlegrounds is locked to level 10, which is why we have the option. That's just for him. So this is battleground stuff over here. Explains why I didn't know it was there. I don't actually even recall seeing that on PTS. I probably just missed it completely. Because I would assume that I would think they would want you to be 
Testing battlegrounds. Now well then, all that is for lots and lots of people. Let's we come over here and try to do one of these. There's a bunch of things to kill over there. How do we get there? Do they tell us? Gold goes trading. Good God. The ship was lowered by powerful Nereids. I should travel to the shipwreck cove in order to defeat the Nereid and collect the cargo. So they don't actually tell you if there's some convenient way to get over there or you just have to run. Our little boatmaster here will take us uh, take us up there though, I think. I don't think they take would take us over here. Traders. Yeah, I went past the boatmaster. No charge to have a look. Come to check up on me, hero. Where are you? What are you doing here? What? Did you think I was so depressed that I'd drink myself silly and fall into the ocean? Maybe. Well, I'm neither drunk enough or motivated enough to walk that far. And I prefer my water to be warm and full of bubbles. Oh yeah, I thought you were going to go take a bow bath and drown your sorrows in your wine. You shouldn't blame yourself for what happened to Vea. Really? Who should I blame then? House Redren? Council yeah. Eris? Mm -hmm. All wrong for doing the right thing and starting this whole mess? I know! I'll blame the Ashlanders! Everybody else does, so why shouldn't I? Ugh. Maybe I just need another bottle of wine. Could be. So what happens now? I go back to doing what I do best. And hope the Morog Tong never finds out what happened. At least the deal we made protects my people. We've worked so hard to climb out of the shadows and regain our position. I'm glad I didn't jeopardize that. You did your best. Vea's own grief led to her downfall. Vea was a good apprentice. She would have made an excellent assassin. I just wish I could have done more to prevent what happened. At least... No. That's not something you need to know. At least not right now. You know you can tell me anything. I can, can I? Well, aren't you the sentimental fool? Ask me about Vea again someday. After some of the pain has passed, then I'll tell you a story. I guarantee it's one that will keep you on the edge of your seat. But not today, hero. Not today. <clears throat> well, guess we have some big story about Bea to look forward to, huh? I'm not exactly expecting to run into her as <laughs> the I guess the boatmaster is over there, so I was supposed to go past that. I still don't think they will take me it's over there where I wanted to go. You probably wouldn't either. I don't like the way the mountain rumbles these days. We're headed to Sadrith Mora, if that's where you'd like to go. Oh yeah, that's all she'll take me to. So I can just port over there now. What about you guys? If I come in here, where exactly are the destinations that you'll take me to? A fellow Dark Elf. So good to see you. If I had to deal with one more ignorant noir from who knows where, I would have screamed. 
What can I help you with today, Fla? <laughs> silt Strider, can, can your Silt Strider take me to a nearby settlement or a distant settlement? Or Looking nearby? to get out of Vivek City? Smart decision. I could use some time away myself. I can take you to Suran or Balmora. They're fairly close. Do either of those locations interest you? We haven't been to Suran. I wonder where exactly that is. Is it anywhere over here? So let's just have her take us to Suran. If it were up to me, looking to get out of Vivek. Just so we can discover the place and see where it is, see if it gets us any closer to where those quest markers are. I was not expecting those other quests to just be like battleground crap in a 12-man dungeon. Uh, it kind of gets closer. So we can follow that road to like about there and then head south. show. We seriously want to find this uh, shrine though. Hey. So that we can port back here. So not not you too. Rider. This is ridiculous. I'm sorry, Talena, but my wife insists we try again. Quest marker doesn't, quest giver does not elude me, but he didn't really come here to pick up my quest. Not you too. This is ridiculous. I'm sorry, Talena, but my wife insists we try. Mostly just wanted to see if it was some place that would get us closer to where those quests. What is it? Nothing, nothing at all. Hey! Help! Someone, please help! Maybe later. Maybe we can just ride along the beach here. Oh gosh. I did pick up another animal companion. Skill. So that it will level up faster so that we can unlock our ultimate. People ask saying things about taking rubbing on PTS. I think people were having problems doing that or something. I don't know. I just recall it getting mentioned. It's still really far off.
Yeah, I was hoping I could go around the deeper spot. No such luck. Looks like the shipwreck right there. And a world boss. There's another one of those cases where. Oh, oh, hello. Around. That's unfortunate. Maybe if I ask anyone for Shipwreck Cove, <coughs> maybe that'll get some people to come. Yep, there's one. more than just one person will come over to help because I don't imagine things will go too terribly well. <clears throat> ah, cool. Got at least two people who are going to come help us. Nice, we got a few. See, it's, al it's always helpful if you're looking to do a world bus if you ask people in chat. Just don't be like some people and just be like, can people help me with world boss and they just put you know WB like they, they kind of need to know what one and even better if you don't say like the name of the boss say the location because that will help people know where to go because you know you look at your map you're gonna see the location <clears throat> not the actual name of the boss say they're gonna come. There's another one. Oh, nice, they're both really high level too. That'll help.
means that all of us got owned by that one. <laughs> Mostly. Holy crap, that was some move she had. on the ground, holy crap, man. Or maybe stay the crap away from her too. like a few of the other guys that came for it needed to do this quest as well. Very nice. See, people in this game are very helpful. That was definitely a very crazy world boss, though. She had one hell of an ability to totally, completely <laughs> devastate you. I think it was that move when I got that synergy. Like it said, like to break free or something. I think it was her like little siren move. And if you didn't get that button pressed at the exact right time and quickly enough, then well I to you. Get our bed. Oh, that was cool. That. I mean, the animations were all there on PTS, but that little voice was not. Got our 
some bear. Now everybody in the world will know, without doubt, we are a warden. When I do my crafting dailies and I have to go back to the mainland. Where the hell am I even going? To head this way. Let's swim it if we have to. I like a fishing spot. Some things are getting marked on our map from the harvest map. I want to just like we'll just catch one fish to see if it actually it doesn't seem to want to mark the fishing holes it's supposed to. I was fishing in Vivek City earlier and I actually got a house item. It was like something about a sponge. just wanted to check if anyone had any responses when I thanked them all for coming to my aid. Oh, nice. Deep stroke. Don't mind if I do. Oh, it's actually the first one I found with her. Orsinium treasure map. Museum piece. Unique. Rayla's ancestral tomb rubbing. Ah, uh, right, that's. Okay, there's a rubbing containing a clue to help locate the lost library of Anduil. I'm sure there was a quest that actually probably told us to go over there and get that. But I found it first. That was loot and stuff, and it's like, oh, what's this? Take a rubbing? Sure, I'll take a rubbing. Kind of thinking that on PTS they actually like had like gaining experience like nerfed or something because I think that I I did like way less than level things up way faster. It didn't seem like it took very long at all for me to unlock that ultimate. And then I even got it morphed. And it's like I only played on the PTS three different times. <laughs> Don't ask me how long <laughs> I played on three times. Yeah, I haven't the foggiest. This always gets me I'm puzzled. You got upper levels, you got lower levels, you got so many damn doors. Well, I don't think many of them go into the same place. I think I probably could have went into that door on the other side and it would just take me like over there or over there or something. 
But, you know, I'm trying to make it easy this on myself. Life, and actually go in the one that the quest marker is on. Hello. Please tell me you have good news. I defeated the Nereid and recovered these goods. Finally a competent worker! You'd be surprised how difficult those are to come by these days. You should sleep better knowing that creature won't be ruining any more careers. And I'm sure the extra gold in your pocket doesn't hurt either. Indeed. Hall of Justice Bounty. <clears throat> nice. Well, let's see what we get out of that. Oiled carpets, an ingredient for crafting the Morag Tong style. Nice. Only one. <coughs> That's not so nice. An award maiden's inferno staff. I'm not exactly planning on using staves, but okay. <clears throat> Where was the Hall of Justice exactly? Take the boat to Telfair? No, we won't be doing that. I should probably just drop those quests all together so it won't keep doing that. That's not gonna actually have the thing that's gonna tell me on here, is it? The shrines over there. Hmm. I don't actually know. Oh, well, this episode has actually gone on long enough. We got to do a nasty world boss, turn on that quest, and get a little bit of style material from Morag Tong. Though I can't actually make it because I need to get all the crafting rookies for it first. Which would probably be a pain in the butt trying to get them all. But I will wander around and look for what to do next. So thank you all for watching and I will see you next time.